hi guys welcome back to my channel so this is a cut crease look i have created using the juvia's plate juvia's plate <laughs> juvia's place masquerade palette and this product is really really good guys i know there's a rave about your products and you know there's a hype about it but honestly i love this stuff like look at all these pigments right here and they are super super pigmented like super super pigmented like honestly even the matte shades are very very pigmented every eyeshadow on my eyes from the one palette i tried not to use any other palette so that you could create any look you know with using one palette and you don't have to have like too many because listen not everybody can buy this that that and the third doing this youtube business it's expensive <laughs> you know you want people to see what you're doing and you want to be creative so you kind of have to buy this stuff but honestly in real life you don't have to like so it took me a while i'm not gonna lie because i tried to be artistic with it you know i i didn't know what i was going to do actually i had some other colors in mind but i wasn't feeling it because i felt like i had done something like that on my channel i'm actually tying two scarves because you know i ain't got no hair so i tied one underneath i just kind of wrapped it and wrapped it and also put another one and wrapped it and wrapped it i would love to do like a like show how i tie my scarf but there's no space <laughs> where i am so i'm gonna figure that out and i'm going to do like a scarf tutorial maybe for you guys and i got my really really cute my really my really really my cute lashes from aliexpress i will leave the link down in the description box i ordered like a bunch from this one vendor and they have really like look look at this really good like why will i spend 20 bucks 30 bucks 50 bucks on lashes when i can spend two dollars fifty cents <laughs> of course i'm gonna go for two dollars fifty cents like listen <laughs> so yeah i really enjoyed creating the look i hope you like it guys and if you want to see how i achieve this look please keep watching and please don't forget to like if you don't forget to like the video if you like it and leave your comments down below and don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bells <laughs> all right i'm going to stop talking now and we're gonna get into the video see you in my next video bye guys hey guys so i'm um, starting off with my eyes i have gone ahead to do my brows <laughs> of course and um i'm just using my mac paint pot in groundwork to prime to prime to prime my um eyelid and i'm setting it with laura Mercia um translucent powder i usually set out to my brow bone and yeah it helps a lot now going into the masquerade palette i am taking that shade and i'm going to use it as my transition color um for this look between i'm just gonna focus on the eyes i'm not really gonna focus on the face pretty much the same thing i do in all my other videos so yeah and yeah i'm just going to put that all over i really love this color like it's it's like the best transition color and then i'm going to take into that slightly darker brown and now i'm going to start building up my crease and just you know intensify the crease and i am just going to bring that in as well into the inner corners of my eye and also the making sure i'm dragging it out well enough since i'm doing a cut crease and now i'm going to take this reddish i don't know if it's terracotta it's terracotta i shake <laughs> i don't know but i'm just going to intensify the crease and you know build up on that and yeah we're just going to bring that in as well and we're going to blend 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 Now I'm going into that fresh brown I used as my transition color. I went ahead to cut my crease between I didn't want to show that part because you know it just takes too long and I just kind of carved it out however I wanted to and I used that to set where I um, carved the crease. And then I'm going in with that reddish brown I used just to um, line out the crease better and just to you know, intensify the reddish color and also 
mark out the crease better I'm going into this I don't know if it's white silverish gray, uh, shimmer shade and now I'm gonna start I'm um, working on the lower part of the lower parts of the crease and then I put that in the inner corners and then I'm putting this goldish um, silvery goldish lesson I don't know <laughs> and I'm putting that in the center at first I wanted to kind of create like a, a center you know um, like a line I'm um, separating the crease and the on the lower part of my lid but then I as you can see I, I went ahead to fill that up and also take the lead take the crease the cut I made a bit higher and then I'm gonna take that purple shade and put that at the outer corners of my eye and I'm just gonna blend that as I'm doing blend that with the color in the center and I'm just going to drag it out I'm leaving the space in between at first I was going to leave it like that but um, I I wanted to leave the space in between like that um, but um, yeah I ended up filling it in I'm going in with a more precise brush it's like a brush to like create a wing and I'm just you know I don't know what I was doing I was just playing around with it here to be honest but um, I dragged the purple in a little bit and yeah I just blended everything together but it's kind of darker at the top as you can see and also at the outer corners I don't know if that makes sense but I hope it does <laughs> and then I'm gonna put that first whitish silvery shade and I'm going to use it to fill in that space in between the purple and the my crease color so yeah and I'm also dragging it a bit in just to I don't know create an effect I'm going back with that purple just to clean up that line um, better to make it better and define and then I just went ahead to create a really thin wing and yeah I am putting some mascara and now I'm applying some lashes um, this lashes like I said in the intro from Aliexpress I will leave the link down in the description box and yeah now I'm gonna have to do you know contour highlight all that good stuff I'm just going to highlight my face using my makeup revolution London um, bronzer and highlighter in um, Oh my gosh, I forgot what shade this is. <laughs> but um, I'm just going into another Makeup Revolution London highlighter. This one is lighter and I like to put this on top of my highlighter because it makes it pop. And this is Golden Days. But yeah, I'll list everything in the description box. And I'm also taking the highlighter to highlight my brow bone. And I'm just taking that same first shade I use. And I'm just kind of creating like an inner wing, so to say, or just lining the inner corners of my eye. And I'm using my Sleek Cosmetics blush, those two shades, and I'm just blushing on my face. I'm blending my co my contour and my highlight together. And then I am spraying with um, my Urban Decay Setting Spray in Oil Control. And I went ahead to use this lip balm. I did not know what lip color I was gonna do and um, yeah I went ahead to highlight my cupid's bow but I'm using my um, wet and wild brow pencil to line my lips I wanted to go with something really mild on the lips because the eye itself is the look so you know what I ended up just filling it with that pencil and that was it I didn't do anything again and yes we are done guys this is the finished look I really hope you like it and um, please don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know if there's anything you want to see and I will see you in my next video by God's grace. Bye guys, remain blessed.